So Unity has decided to change its pricing structure. Since most of my audience right now seems to be more players rather than game developers, I'll just say this. If you want to play any games right now that were developed in Unity, I'd buy those games now, while you still can. For those of you who don't know, Unity is a game engine used to develop video games and is, or was, a very popular engine for indie developers. Lots of great games like Hollow Knight, Ori and the Blind Forest, Pokemon Go, and so many more have been made in this engine. It's an engine that I myself have been using to make my own Metroidvania game, but I'll get into how this affects me later. So the change Unity has made is that previously you paid a subscription fee based on your income, but now they are adding a fee per player install after you reach a certain threshold of both money earned and amount of installs. So let's say you are a developer and you're making a little mobile game in Unity, and you think, hey, maybe I should put this game out there. You put it on Apple and Google Play Store, but you didn't really think it was really worth charging for, so you put it out for free. But before you do, you think, hey, maybe I can make a little bit of money, so why not throw a few ads in there? Now let's say a popular streamer finds this game, loves it, and as a result the game goes viral. In a short period of time, 1 million people have downloaded your game, and you've made, miraculously, $200,000 in ad revenue. According to the new pricing model for the free version of Unity, you would be charged 20 cents per install after you reach the threshold. So, assuming the first 200,000 installs don't count, that's 20 cents times 800,000 installs, which is $160,000 you now owe to Unity. You've made $200,000, but you have to pay 80% of that back to Unity. Now, for all of us in the game development community, we all know that this situation is very, very unlikely. $200,000 made from 1 million installs on a mobile game? I don't make mobile games myself, but that doesn't seem very likely. But that's not the point. The point is, this pricing model seems prone to being exploitative towards the developers that use it. And I don't believe that is Unity's intention. I believe that they're trying to do the best thing for both them and the developer. Because the reality is, the more extreme scenarios are unlikely. At least to the average developer. The average developer probably won't even notice a difference. Here's another scenario I worry about too though. What happens if you were a popular developer 10 years ago, but you haven't really done anything in the meantime, but then all of a sudden you have to pay a fee for people who buy your games now or in the future, even though you are no longer subscribed to Unity, or worst case scenario, it could track how many installs there are currently of your old game in total and now charge you for all of that. Imagine if over the course of 10 years, your game has amassed 1 million downloads and all of a sudden you have to pay $160,000. That's what we could be potentially looking at. But the thing is, there's a lot of confusion about how this pricing model is going to work, and although this scenario is unlikely, you still have to entertain it, which is troublesome in and of itself. In either case, the developer may find themselves having to pay a fee for a game that is no longer profitable. And that means, for small developers, the risk of losing money on their games may likely cause them to pull their games from the market. I think we are going to see a purge of Unity games from Steam because of this change. My first impression of this situation is kind of like a reverse Goldilocks scenario. If you are so small and are barely making any money, if any, you are okay. If you are a big developer, this price change probably won't hurt you at all. If anything, it may actually be beneficial when compared to other engines like Unreal, but I haven't run the numbers on that though. Now here is the reverse Goldilocks position, and that's if you're somewhere in between. Let's go back to the first example I gave. You made your first game, you made 200 grand, and now you have to pay 160 grand back. This precise example may not be the case, but I am willing to bet there are going to be a lot of developers kind of in between these two states, and this could end a lot of them. A small amount of them may remake their game in other engines, and that probably won't be a bad idea, but honestly, most probably won't. I don't mean to fear monger or catastrophize. Honestly, I hope my interpretation is wrong, but even if it is, this change is still not looking good. I guess I'm reacting so strongly because this change has affected me as well, since I too am a game developer. I'm reacting strongly because if my interpretation is accurate, then the change has effectively killed the game I've been working on for most of this year. Now, I don't want this to sound too oh poor me. In fact, I feel very lucky this happened now and not when my game is done. Because although I've 
lost time developing in Unity, I can always still just change game engines. Sure, it'll be a pain in the ass having to start over, but anyway, this is just my thoughts just hearing about the news. I'll give myself some time to digest this information before I make any decisions about ending the project or remaking it in another engine. And if I truly have misunderstood these changes, if they aren't so catastrophic as I imagine them to be, then I'll make a video again at some point to clear things up. But honestly, whether my worst case imaginings are true or not, this still looks really bad to me, and I can't really see it ending well for anybody. And don't get me wrong, I want Unity to succeed. I love the engine. I just think this change may be them digging their own grave. Well, that's it for now. Please let me know what you think in the comments, and thanks for watching.